I'm going to show you how to create similar images in the back end of mid journey. Okay. Now with these images, personally, me, I create a lot of content around print on demand. So I'm thinking, first thing I'm thinking about is like children's books. So, or, or just a book in general, how can I use that same concept, that same image, right. And like scale out a character or, or, you know, and that way I can use it on different pages. Okay. So I'm trying my best to kind of get an idea of what, what, what that would look at, look like and how it'll work, how it'll, it would work. And if you look right here, this is an image right here that I've created a video on in the past. Okay. This right here was a, a, a cartoon that I created in one of my previous mid journey videos. Uh, and it was a hippopotamus, right? Hippo. And I used chat G P T to come up with this image in the description to create the prompt. Okay. Which is really cool. But I was like, you know what, but let's say if I liked one of those images, right? So for example, I like this one and I upscaled it. Let me take you up top where this is where the actual image was created. Okay. This is the original, original image and it created four different images. And what I did was went ahead and upscaled the first one. And another thing too, you can create different variations from that one image and right. And it'll just do a little, you know, background edit or make a simple edit on the nose. You might click on this one too. That's one way you can make a different variation of an image. Just hit one, like V1. V2, V3, V4, V so V1, V2, V3, V4, you get the idea. And then if you want to upscale any of these, which I did, I upscaled this one, basically enhanced the image, right? And make it bigger and, and, and make it made it a little bit more detailed, right? Make it more, more fine, more clean or crisp. So as I go down, so it upscaled this one. And what I did was copy the link. Okay. So dash, you hit the dash and hit imagine. And then you copy the link and control V. Okay. And after you hit control V, it copies that image. And basically what happened, it takes the same concept of this image. And, and from my understanding, it's supposed to, you know, get inspiration from this image and it's supposed to recreate it with the following image. So what I did right here is control V with the copy that image. And I put cartoon, large hippopotamus walking in tall grass. And you can see the similarities between it's like the hippopotamus is different, right? But the similarities in the backgrounds are pretty much almost similar in their way. Okay. Maybe I'm just like, okay, maybe I can use this inside of a book where it's, you know, he, he's, he's growing into a bigger, you know, a large hippopotamus, right? And you can see what it did here. Okay. You can see like the, the grass, the tall grass and the, and some of the water, the concepts of the water is very similar. And then like, you know, it has like a, a flower in there and you take it from this one and you can see what it did. Like the, the, the flowers are okay, but they're more detailed like in these, in these images, right? You can see. Okay. So I did it again. It was like, you know what? Let me try cartoon hippopotamus drinking water. And that's what I did after I copied and pasted that link and it brought out this image. Okay. Now for my, like when I'm looking at this, obviously the hippopotamus, it seems to be different in every single image, but it's like similar in its way. Right. And I'm just messing with it and, 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 and just trying to get an idea of like, what can I do with this? Right. So as you can see, go down to the next one. Now let's check this one out. Okay. Do the same thing, exact thing, but I just put, instead of putting hippopotamus, put drinking water dash eating. And it, <laughs> it, it made this, I don't know what the hell it was doing, but it made this and, and it's more of a, you got human beings, but this one's like a hippopotamus and a, and a human being mixed in one drinking water and the glasses and the mouth. I'm not sure what the AI was thinking here in mid journey, but that's what it created. Okay. Now let's go down again. And uh, this time I put, you know, cartoon, large hippopotamus, tall grass and trees drinking water. Now it populated this. So like you're messing with it and you're learning, you know, learning how to talk to the AI and it's generating, you know, that, that you know, it's generated the images and, and it's, it's, it's like you're testing at the end of the day, it's all about testing and seeing what you can do and what kind of prompts you can create and learning how to talk to the AI to give it exactly what you want. So now this one is a little bit better, right? You go down one more time and what I did was copy, you know, that whole prompt that I put into the first one, bring it back up the whole prompt right here that I put into the first one. This is the original image. And then I just took that image and copied it right here. And you're going to see just copy that whole image into there. Okay. And this is, you know, what it populated for me. now. Okay. Now let's say if you just wanted to do it to, you know, any type of random image that you like or personally like you could upload any image into, into the, uh, dis, the, the, you know, discord, you're just going to hit here. You're going to hit the little plus sign on the corner right there, hit the plus sign. And then you're just gonna, you know, there's a rock right here. You can hit, hit the rock 
okay and then you hit enter and when you upload that image okay you upload you hit enter it upload the image okay it upload the image you're gonna hit copy and then you're gonna hit dash rock johnson on this photo shoot water let's see what happens and you're gonna hit enter okay when you hit enter it's gonna start to generate a prompt basically it's taking that link that you copy or you upload it into mid journey okay and I'm inside the mid journey bot the direct message and you're gonna just upload it into mid journey and it's taking you copy that link from this this image right here and it's getting the concept right and it's going to populate it for you based on what that link that what you copied a link and it's gonna try as best as possible to generate something like that but for the most part it seems to be how would i say it's like a i want to say like a 50 60 uh chance but i think as it you know as it starts to get better and better mid journey that's going to understand you know the image and, and you can probably create you know your own avatar and you're going to see the similarities right here that it, it put out for us right and i'm just doing it as we're speaking where we're, we're, as i'm as i'm doing it it's doing it in real time and you can see that the image is the rock the people's eyebrow right and you can see the similarity right that it created based off using the his face recognition doing that there's there's some hair right here i'm not sure what happened right there a cup of glass the glass you can kind of see the similarities right it's trying as best as possible to take that uh, that image and recreate it and make it its own now one thing too just kind of touch on anything after this right you're adding some more prompts in there at the end you know uh, different types of keywords to generate the image and help the ai create something for you messing with this okay think about that too as well anything that in here you have to maybe have to redo it you don't like it you can you know regenerate the image upscale upscale and then do it very different variations if you like one but you want to have it done a different way you can do any of that inside of mid-journey okay so showed you how to create a you know a different well how to upload an image and try to get something as similar as possible using mid journey i think in the future like if i come up with ways to create you know different types of books by using the same image to help me you know grow you know my kdp business that would be an awesome video to create for you guys but if you guys want to learn more about different mid journey and the prompts that i use check out this video right up here